Guys, the Avatar tank will not stop blowing my mind. The title of this video is outrageous, but unfortunately, it's true. So I come home from work today, and I look over, and I see my male crayfish literally being eaten alive by the shrimp in this tank, and I can't believe it. So that's a little blurry, but we'll try and get a focus on here. What happened was, I came home, and the male crayfish was tucked back here in this pogo stamen, and he was molting. So, totally normal deal. You know, that's just fine. That's a normal thing that he has to do. He was tucked under, you know, trying to hide while molting is sort of like the MO of pretty much everybody. And, you know, that's not a very good spot, just tucked under there. I figured, you know, nothing of it. He looked fine. He was, you know, twitching a little bit. Looked like he was getting out of his exoskeleton. But that's not how things ended. And things did not end well. So about five hours ago, um, I noticed he started to, you know, I came back out to the tank and he was out here more towards the middle. Now, I came out, geez, I don't know, like an hour later and I noticed that there was an Amano shrimp that was starting to sort of pick at him. So I got in there with my forceps and I kicked him away and I tried to tuck him back underneath here to sort of protect him a little bit more. I then came back, you know, another hour or two later and you could totally tell that his body was being eaten, okay? Because there were chunks out of his main body. It wasn't just the molt and we got a male crayfish down, big daddy. Uh, you know, hopefully Big Daddy here is no longer. So that was the last thing that I expected, you know, and everybody in the comments, everybody was freaking out about the dwarf shrimp and how they were just gonna get massacred by the, by the crayfish. And you know, especially if the crayfish have babies, then it's just gonna be a bloodbath in here. And it turns out that the opposite happened. There's been more than a few shrimp that have come and taken a pass on his body, you know, taken little bits. But I mean, he really did get eaten alive. Like, he, he wasn't dead when I came out and saw him the first couple of times. You know, there were shrimp taking a pass at him. There was a snail or two that came by and, and got some off of him. And, you know, it was pretty gruesome, to be honest with you. So, again, we touched on molting in a previous video, how there are things that invertebrates need to molt. They need to have a good mineral composition in the water, and they also need to have iodine. And so, you know, doing water changes, as long as your water, as long as your tap water is good enough, you shouldn't have to worry about things like GH. Um, you know, as long as you can detect it on a test kit, then you, you should be fine. It shouldn't be a big problem. What happened with him? Did he have a problem molting that killed him? Or was it that he wasn't protected well enough and he got picked on so much that it just, you know, he couldn't put up with it? That's sort of, you know, that's the debate. But I'm leaning towards he just had some sort of physical problem molting, like he got stuck or something. Now that's still, you know, up in the air, but I think that's what I'm gonna have to go with. This was the last thing that I thought would happen in this tank, and you know, to be honest with you, it's, it's just kind of how this tank is going. I mean, this tank is wild, man. Crazy stuff is happening in it, and we just gotta roll with it. Let's talk about the female crayfish now. Unfortunately, our man over here is gone, but what about the female? Where is she? She's still been hiding, but I do see her from time to time when I put food out. Um, before I made this video, I put some food out, you know, like, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. So you can see the shrimp down here are starting to make their way to it. Um, and the female, actually, I just saw her. She's right back here. She's still been hiding like crazy, but she, she doesn't have her eggs anymore, guys. So that is interesting. Um, it's kind of... I guess good or bad timing, however you want to see it. At least maybe there's some progeny here in the tank to keep things going. Um, I haven't seen any babies yet. I've been looking really hard every day, but I haven't seen anything yet. So I'm keeping my eye out. You know, I'm trying to watch. There she just fought off in a mono shrimp. Um, you know, I'm, I'm watching things really carefully. I'm hoping that there are some babies in here um, so that we can keep things going with the crayfish. I would hate to have to you know, give up or, you know, I would just probably get another male if it came down to it. But I'm hoping 
that we'll find some baby crayfish in here so we can keep things going. And I also really hope that the female crayfish doesn't experience the same thing that the male did because, I mean, it it's just one of those things that you can't really control it. And another thing that makes me think that it has nothing to do with the water parameters in here is that I'm seeing a mono shrimp molts on a frequent basis. Here's a prime example right here of a fresh Amano shrimp molt. So, you know, if you're seeing other species having successful molts, then it's kind of hard to say, well, if the crayfish, you know, had a bad molt, I don't think you can really link that to a, a specific water parameter, like the GH is too low, or, you know, there's no iodine in the water, so molting is having a problem. If other species are molting just fine, I have a hard time believing that it's, you know, that it's something to do with the water. So I think it was just a weird circumstance which caused him to not molt successfully, or, or maybe something else. It's hard to say. There's a good shot of the female. She's poking her head out. I think she's sort of made a base camp over here in the rocks with all the cover of the Anubias. Not a bad spot. I wish that's where the male would have decided to molt. Maybe he would have had a better chance over there if it was related to, you know, being picked on while he was molting. But, you know, it's just, it's one of those things. Like I said, the tank is wild and the tank is certainly capable of taking a life. Speaking of a mono shrimp, I have a couple females that are showing some eggs. You can see that one right there fanning her new eggs. And so, I don't know, you know, I'm kind of thinking about doing a brackish, a little brackish setup and trying to, trying to breed some of those mono shrimp. I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, I did say that I wanted more of them, so I might do a little bit more research on that and see if, see if I can't make that happen. So anyway guys, uh, sad news to me, I'm sure a lot of you are probably stoked that one of the crayfish is out of the picture. Um, there were so many people that were warning me about the, you know, the dangers of adding crayfish in with shrimp. You know, I, I totally understand where you're coming from, but it's just a, it's just a shame to lose anybody in the tank. And uh, RIP Crawdaddy. I just wanted to give you an update there with what's going on in the crazy avatar tank. It's been a bumpy ride so far just with, you know, what's been going on in the tank. Everything else like plant-wise and overall, you know, how the tank looks has been pretty good in my opinion. I'm still really happy with it, but you know, hey, don't forget to leave this video a like if you're into all the turmoil. And I got to thank you guys one more time for watching the support just it means so much the channel's doing great and i owe it all to you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time